your hub for accurate, timely, actionable information. Seasoned investor or novice, we've got you covered. Welcome to Fundco. Have you wondered why Swan Energy Limited's share price dropped by approximately 1.93% recently? Well, you're not alone. Swan Energy, an India-based company, has a diversified business model, with its fingers in many pies, from textiles and real estate to energy and petrochemical sectors. The company's share price took a dip to 730 rupees and 85 pays, marking a decrease of 14 rupees and 35 pays. This movement came after a successful fundraising of 3,000 crore via a Qualified Institutions Placement, or QIP, which saw the company's shares rise by 3.7%. The issue price was set at 670 rupees per equity share for the QIP. So, with this fresh injection of capital and the recent price drop, what's next for Swan Energy? Let's delve deeper into the reasons behind this recent price movement. Swan Energy Limited is not a one-trick pony. It's a company with multiple business verticals. This India-based powerhouse has its feet firmly planted in several sectors, including the textile industry, real estate, energy, and petrochemical. But that's not all. The company is also in the process of implementing a Greenfield Liquefied Natural Gas, or LNG, port project. This diversification allows Swan Energy Limited to have a wide range of income sources, making it a robust and resilient business model. Speaking of resilience, the company has recently demonstrated its financial prowess by successfully raising 3,000 crore via a Qualified Institutions Placement, or QIP. This financial maneuver not only bolstered the company's funds, but also had a positive effect on its share price. In fact, following the successful QIP, the company's shares rose by a solid 3.7%. This is a clear testament to the confidence the investors have in Swan Energy Limited and its business strategies. The company set the issue price at 670 rupees per equity share for its QIP. This move, coupled with the successful fundraising, has undoubtedly played a significant role in the recent movements in the share price. When it comes to Swan Energy Limited, it's important to understand that the company's fundraising efforts and diversified business model are key aspects of its operations. The recent fundraising through QIP, for instance, has not only provided the company with significant financial resources, but also had a positive impact on its share price. This fundraising has indeed influenced the share price, but there's more to the story. While the company's profit growth has been lackluster over the past three years, its sales growth has been nothing short of impressive. With a healthy growth rate of 21.27% over the last three years, Swan Energy Limited is clearly a company that knows how to generate sales and drive its business forward. Let's talk numbers, shall we? After all, the devil is in the details. So, what do the fundamentals tell us about Swan Energy Limited? Market capitalization, for starters, is a key indicator of a company's size and market value. Currently, Swan Energy's market cap stands at a whopping 238 billion, 916 million, 800,000 rupees. That's quite impressive, isn't it? Next up is the price to earnings ratio, or PE ratio. This number helps us understand the price investors are willing to pay for each rupee of the company's earnings. Swan Energy's PE ratio stands at 36.67. This figure might seem high, but it's crucial to remember that a high P.E. ratio could indicate expected growth in the future. Let's shift gears and talk about dividends. The dividend yield of Swan Energy is 0.01%. Although it appears small, dividends can provide a steady income stream to investors, especially during volatile market conditions. Now let's delve deeper into the company's profitability with the return on equity, or ROE. The ROE tells us how effectively management is using a company's assets to create profits. Swan Energy's ROE has increased to 0.30%, a figure slightly higher than the last three years average. This suggests an improvement in the company's profitability. However, it's worth noting that these numbers only scratch the surface. For a comprehensive technical analysis, it would be best to turn to a dedicated platform or service. Such a platform can provide real-time data and specialized software, offering a more in-depth analysis of the stock's performance. So we've crunched the numbers and examined the fundamentals. But what about the people who actually own the company? These numbers offer an insight, but what does the shareholding pattern tell us? This will be our next point of discussion. Stay tuned. 
Who holds the power in Swan Energy Limited? Let's find out. The company's recent shareholding pattern unveils an interesting picture. The promoters, those individuals or entities who've taken the initiative to start the company or hold a significant portion of its shares, control 64.09% of the shares. This means they have a substantial say in the company's strategic decisions. On the other hand, foreign institutional investors, or FIIs, hold 10.47% of the shares. FIIs include investment funds, insurance companies, pension funds, and such that operate from outside the country. Their involvement often indicates the company's trustworthiness and potential for growth on a global scale. Lastly, the general public, individual investors like you and me, hold 19.62% of the shares. This distribution suggests a balanced mix of control, trust and public faith in the company's potential. Now let's shift our focus to broker ratings. These ratings are crucial as they provide an insight into the market sentiment around a company's shares. Ventura Securities, a well-known brokerage firm, has given a buy rating to Swan Energy Limited. They've set a target price of 810 rupees for the shares. Broker ratings like these are derived from in-depth analysis of a company's financials, industry position, and market trends. A buy rating suggests that the shares are expected to increase in value, presenting a potentially profitable opportunity for investors. But remember, while ratings and shareholding patterns offer valuable information, they are just part of the bigger picture. The company's overall performance plays an equally, if not more, significant role in determining the potential returns on your investment. Ratings and shareholding patterns are significant, but the company's performance can't be ignored. A three-year performance review is on the cards for Swan Energy Limited. It's time to delve into the nitty-gritty of the company's performance in the past three years. Across this period, Swan Energy Limited has demonstrated a less than stellar profit growth. To be precise, the profit growth has been negative, dwindling at a rate of negative 4.18%. This, understandably, might raise a few eyebrows among investors, as profitability is an essential aspect of a company's financial health. However, before jumping to conclusions, it's crucial to understand that profit growth is just one piece of the puzzle. It's equally essential to consider other factors, such as the company's sales growth. And that's where Swan Energy Limited shines. Over the same three-year period, the company has exhibited robust sales growth, expanding at an impressive rate of 21.27%. This contrast between the poor profit growth and healthy sales growth paints a nuanced picture of Swan Energy Limited's performance. While the company may be struggling with profitability, it's evident that it's making strides in expanding its sales. This suggests that the company is successfully reaching more customers and generating increased revenue, even if it's not yet translating into higher profits. What could be the reason behind this contrast? There could be several factors at play here. It could be that the company is investing heavily in growth initiatives, which may be eating into profits in the short term, but could pay off in the long run. Or it might be grappling with increased costs that are yet to be offset by the growing sales. Without a doubt, these contrasting trends in profit and sales growth make Swan Energy Limited a fascinating case to watch. It underscores the importance of looking beyond a single metric when evaluating a company's performance. Investment decisions should always take into account the full picture, including all these factors we discussed. So, what's the takeaway from this dip in Swan Energy Limited's shares? Let's quickly recap what we've discussed. Swan Energy, an India-based company, operates across a variety of sectors, including textiles, real estate, energy and petrochemicals. Recently, the company has successfully raised a significant fund of 3,000 crore via a qualified institution's placement, which has had a considerable impact on its share price. In terms of fundamentals, Swan Energy boasts a market capitalization of approximately 238,916 crore, with a price-earnings ratio of 36.67 and a modest dividend yield. The shareholding pattern reveals that promoters hold a majority of 64 0.09%, with foreign institutional investors and the general public holding 10.47% and 19.62% respectively. Despite a slight decline in profit growth over the past three years, the company's sales growth has shown promise. Keep these factors in mind when considering your next move with Swan Energy Limited. 
Remember, informed decisions make successful investors. Before you go though, we've got some fantastic recommendations for you. If you're into stock market news and updates, you're going to love these picks.